Welcome back to Capcom Highlights 2024. I'm your co-host, Fighting Cowboy. It's day two, and today with me I have... Andy, I'm a community manager at Capcom USA. As you might know, we're splitting this broadcast over two days, so if you missed the first one, go back and check it out on YouTube. But for today, up first we have... Street Fighter VI. Street Fighter VI. Street Fighter VI launched in June 2023 and has been bringing the heat. In July, we met Rashid. In September, Aki joined the fight. In December, all 18 fighters received Outfit 3. And in February, we added Ed to the roster. We're only starting to get warmed up. Street Fighter VI also had a number of collaborations in the Battle Hub where players can get together. This month, we're featuring a Mega Man themed fighting pass. The Your Favorite Mega Man game, Street Voter, is currently live, so we hope you join in. Now, we'd like to share a short video of Akuma who will be released in the game later this year. Hundreds of opponents, all fell by his hand. Thousands of strikes exchanged. They forged his spirit. Every moment, engraved into his very being. With ambitions so great, they seek to soar beyond the very heavens. Missouts! Akuma joins the crew in spring 2024. Not only will Akuma be available to use as a fighter in Fighting Ground, but he'll also appear at World Tour, where we'll have new missions and an area featuring him. This is only the beginning of Street Fighter VI. Stay tuned for more characters and content. All right, what'd you think? He's finally here. He's finally here. Uh, back when the game was announced, I know I was you know, not in the lineup, so I decided to main Ken, but Akuma's always been the one with my heart. Yeah, well, you're not the only one. I think a bunch of people at home have been really excited for him. I've seen all the social media comments, and he's finally, finally coming soon. I mean, he's he's one of the best. I mean, you got you got Ryu Sudukin, you got the uppercuts coming in from Ken, you got some air volleys, like, and on top of that, he's he's got that edgy dark thing to you that just kind of draws you in. Yeah, and speaking of those design elements, we have someone very special on the line with us. All the way from Japan, we have game director Nakayama-san. Uh, hello, Nakayama-san. Hi. We're super excited to talk to you today about Street Fighter VI. We're all very excited for the addition of Akuma. Uh, looking at him, obviously his design has been updated quite a bit. What character aspects did you have in mind when you were updating him? Street Fighter VI itself ストリートファイターの話の中の最新の話なので、ま、時間がこう経過してるものになるんですね。なので、前作に出てきた時の号距離よりちょっと貫禄を増した感じ、ま、髪の毛がね、白髪になってたりっていうのがあったりします。
あとは、えーとね、筋肉の感じとかも、えー、仏像とかね動物とかをすごい参考にしてちょっとかっこいいものを、ね、目指して作りました。I agree. It's definitely visible in the new design.、Uh, he's a very iconic character, so seeing him get、uh, kind of a, a refreshed makeover like this, it's, it's a very new iconic look. I'm a big fan of it.、Uh, but, you know, of course, Akuma ends the edition of Year One content, so looking back, how did you feel about the, the production of Year One, looking back on it? So, this is really like a very new one. It's a very new one. It's a very new one. 開発メンバーすごい頑張って日々ねいろんなコンテンツ作ってたりしてるし、まあ、いろんなねプレイヤーさんに遊んでもらってるのを常日頃見てたんで本当にねいろんなことがあって本当に一瞬でした。And I know players are definitely grateful for all the content that's been coming to the game. Besides Akuma, what other elements are you adding into the game alongside him that you can tell us about? はい、えー、ゴーキがね対戦で使えるようになる以外にも。ワールドツアーで、えー、今までのね追加キャラクターと同じように師匠として出会うことができますそして、まあ、弟子入りすることができて、えー、ミッションとかねいろいろ増えていきますあとは、えー、彼のステージである極円島にもねワールドツアーで行けるようになるのでそれをちょっと楽しみにしておいてほしいっていうのとあとはですね、えー、サウンド周りでちょっとした機能の追加があったりあとは、えー、バトルハブの部分でもねちょっとイベントを考えていたりしますのでそちらもねお楽しみにしていただければと思いますあとはまあもちろんねイヤー2も作ってますんでちょっとご期待して待っていただければと思いますあっ Thank you so much for answering all of our questions I、uh, wish we could talk all day but I know you're very busy so、uh, thank you for taking the time out to join us for this interview and I can't look forward to what Street Fighter 6 has in the future ありがとうございます今度じっくりいっぱい話しましょう。Thank you so much, Nakayama san. It's always great to hear from you. Now, if you want more Street Fighter 6, take a look at this. Next up, Capcom Esports and Capcom Pro Tour 2024. The Capcom Pro Tour starts this June and features the latest entry in the series, Street Fighter 6. This 1v1 tournament series allows players from around the world to sign up and compete over the course of the year to become the grand champion. The 2024 season will conclude with Capcom Cup 11 and a prize of $1 million to the winner. All players are welcome to compete in Capcom Pro Tour. For the schedule and details on how to sign up and enter tournaments, visit the official Capcom Pro Tour website. Don't miss your chance! We also have an update for Street Fighter League. Street Fighter League is Capcom's officially owned and operated league, comprised of three separate regional leagues Japan, US, and Europe. Each team is comprised of four top tier players. This year welcomes three new teams Crazy Raccoon, Fukushima Ibushigin, and Yogibo Reject. This makes 12 teams in SFLJP, the most ever, and 48 players. All three leagues are returning later this year. This season starts in July 2024. It will be streamed live on YouTube and Twitch on the Capcom Fighters and Capcom Fighters JP channels. Check out the official Street Fighter League website for the latest on the three regional leagues around the world. Next up, Exo Primal. Suit up for the latest info on Exo Primal, where exosuits and dinosaurs clash in massive team based multiplayer action. Exo Primal has featured two collaborations with other Capcom franchises. The first was the Street Fighter VI collaboration, and the second was the Monster Hunter series collaboration. Now we have an exciting announcement for Title Update 4. Our third Capcom collaboration will feature Mega Man! There will, of course, be Mega Man themed exosuit skins and emotes along with a collaboration mission. To fight a certain infamous boss character, we'll share more details about the collaboration mission soon. Title Update 4 will also include new beta variant exosuits along with new rigs and modules. 
Zephyr Beta, Boost Claws. Vigilant Beta, Bow Hunter. Krieger Beta, Blitz Cannon. Murasami Beta, Wind Caller. Witch Doctor Beta, Plasma Shot. Nimbus Beta, Wild Bomb. And the new rig, Mortar. Combined with the current options, players will be able to choose from 30 exosuits and 10 rigs. Create your own unique combination of exosuits, rigs, and modules to make it through the ever-intensifying war games. We are also adding new modes to the game. The first is the 10-player cooperative mode called Time Loop Rebellion. Prepare to take on the behemoth from the end of the game in a much more powerful form. Play the mode multiple times and meet set conditions to earn special cosmetics and other items as rewards that are only available in this mode. That includes these first-class gold skins. The second is custom match mode. In this mode, players on any platform can join a game together as long as they have the lobby code. You can choose to play on any mode, mission, or stage. And of course, you'll earn EXP and Bitcoin as well as advance the story. You'll also be able to participate in the ongoing Savage Gauntlet mission as well as Time Loop Rebellion. And finally, for our PvP players, we have Quick Brawl. This mode lets you play just the PvP final missions. Exo Primal has continued to add an array of content, including limited campaigns, Savage Gauntlet, boss battles, and more. Exo Primal Title Update 4 drops on April 17th. We'll see you in the War Games. It'll be massively fun. All right, what did you think of Exo Primal? There's definitely a lot coming to the game. You can tell the devs are having a lot of fun with the, the different dances and customization features you get. Uh, the two big things for me, at least, were the custom mode. I think that's huge, being able to just play whatever game mode you want across platform with friends. And then the PvP mode. I think PvP players typically get the short end of the stick, so it's nice to see them getting some love. Yeah, we hope you guys jump straight back into Exo Primal to check out the Mega Man collaboration. But with that said, let's look at our next announcement. Now for the latest updates on the Monster Hunter series. This year marks the 20th anniversary of the Monster Hunter series. We are excited to announce the top 10 voting results from the Hunter's Choice poll on the dates shown. Which of the 229 monsters will claim the top spot? Thanks to all the hunters out there for voting. We will be sharing the details of other 20th anniversary plans through the official website and social media. We hope you look forward to the future of Monster Hunter. Hello everyone. My name is Chihiro Kano and I'm the game director for Monster Hunter Now at Niantic. Thank you for continuing to play and enjoy Monster Hunter Now. To commemorate the 20th anniversary of the Monster Hunter series, you can currently enjoy quests in Monster Hunter Now that reward a 20th anniversary medal, as well as an event featuring all the subspecies and guaranteed Xenogre appearances in Huntathons. In addition, Monster Hunter Now will celebrate its six month anniversary on March 14th. To show our appreciation for our players, we will be giving away exciting rewards. All hunters who log in within the specific time period will receive in-game items, zinni, and more. On this day, we will also release a major update, and a new in-game season will begin. You will meet new monsters including Devil Joe, Odogara, and Tsitsiyaku, and play with a new weapon type, the Charge Blade. You can also look forward to new features such as layered armor and the Season Pass. Finally, to everyone watching this show, I want to share a small glimpse of what we have planned for the future. This is currently still under development and will be released sometime after March 14th. Be sure to stay tuned for more updates. Thank you for watching today. 
We value your feedback and will keep on using it to improve the game and make it even more fun. We hope you continue to enjoy it. Monster Hunter Now! The first RPG in the Monster Hunter series is back and better than ever. Oh, sacred kinship stone, bind thyself to this young spirit! Some gnarly power you got there, kid. Shut up! What good are you? You did awesome! Thank you. Monster Hunter Stories was originally released in 2016 for the Nintendo 3DS. Now it's been remastered and fully voiced. I said it before and I'll say it again. Huh? Rack, what are you doing with the egg? I will. How about it, Ryder? Care to show us what you're made of? Yeah! In the newly added museum mode, Players can view over 200 pieces of concept art. With comments from staff about development that provide insight into the game setting. The museum also includes the game's background music, Bonding Winds, Monster Hunter Stories, and Proof of a Hero Stories version. The main themes are being released in surround sound for the first time. Monster Hunter Stories launches for Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, and Steam on June 14th, 2024. Pre-orders will be available soon. Players can pick up Naviru's King and Queen outfits as special pre-order bonuses. Take advantage of this opportunity. We also have this announcement. Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin is coming to PlayStation 4. It will also be available on June 14th, 2024. Pre-orders will be available soon. Players can pick up Inna's Kamura Maiden outfit as a special pre-order bonus.
Both Monster Hunter Stories games will also be available as a special set. See the official website for details. Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin is also currently available for Nintendo Switch and Steam. Well, that's a wrap for day two of Capcom Highlights 2024. How'd you feel about today's announcements? A lot of really good stuff coming out. We had, obviously, the Akuma announcement, getting those Street Fighter VI fans excited. Personally, I'm really excited to see just how he plays into the story and the World Tour and all of that stuff. Uh, Exo Primal, obviously a lot coming there as well. In particular, I think the custom mode is going to be pretty big because being able to play games with friends is always fun. Being able to play however you want. And there's definitely a lot going on there, so picking what you want exactly is awesome. And then let's not forget Monster Hunter Stories 2 coming to PS4. And of course, those that never got to play the original get a chance to experience it, which I'm personally looking forward to. I didn't get a chance to play the first one on the 3DS, so finally being able to enjoy it on Steam, I'm going to have a blast jumping into that. Yeah, well, thank you for joining us. Uh, remember, if you missed day one or two of Capcom Highlights, you can check it out on our YouTube channel. We'd like to give a special shout out to Nakayama-san for joining us all the way from Japan. Uh, I've been Andy from the Capcom USA community team. I've been Fighting Cowboy. Thank you again for having me. Of course, love having you. And for everyone else out there, thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.